The NFL draft is in the books, and of course, there's the winners and the losers of the draft. Vikings, of course, big time winners. But CBS Sports analyst Jeff Kerr did a list of veterans who the draft helped and who the draft hurt. And Minnesota Fighting Vikings quarterback Kirk Cousins is somehow listed on the hurt list, which, no. No. And I understand. Blah, 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 blah. Kellen Mond is going to take his job. He's going to take his job. But no. No. But I think that this take is way off about Kirk because you look at the guys who are on the hurt list. Cam Newton up at the top. Sure, Mac Jones in the first and no weapons to speak of in the draft, but he's on a one-year deal anyway, so who cares? Andy Dalton. <laughs> I understand who's primed to be the quarterback one in Chicago. Not so much Justin Fields. He's definitely on the hurt. James Robinson, I I, I get. UDFA running back last year who ran for 1,000 yards. And Jaguars took Travis Etienne, uh, Trevor Lawrence's teammate from Clemson, with their second first-round pick. That's certainly a cut into his production. Leighton Van Der Esch, yes, who will be put out of a job by Micah Parsons. Also, they didn't pick up his fifth-year option, so he's going to be gone. But... How is it possible that Kirk Cousins was hurt by this draft? Let's recap. Cousins got potential franchise left tackle in Christian Derrissaw. Protection is always very key with Kirk Cousins. He's got potential starter at right guard and Wyatt Davis no matter what. And a speedy wide receiver three in the fifth round with Amir Smith-Marset. Yes, Kellamont at 66 will be the quarterback of the future. But with Kirk Cousins' contract and a $35 million fully guaranteed base salary in 2022, this is very likely going to be his team for the next two years. So, let's recap. Two starting offensive linemen and a vertical threat element uh, in the passing game to go with Justin Jefferson, Thielen, Irv, and Dalvin. How is he not winner number one? How is he not the veteran that has helped the most by this draft? Because he is. Plus, how is Aaron Rodgers uh, uh, helped veteran number one? Hmm? They picked a cornerback with their first pick. They drafted a very meh center in Josh Myers with their second pick. And then they took whatever wide receiver Amari Rodgers in the third. That's it. That, how has he helped veteran number one? I don't understand it, man. So I, I guess this is just more national media Jabroni haircuts just hammering on the Vikings, just hammering on Kirk Cousins because they're easy to take a number two on. But no, this is just how much do you have to lie to yourself to be like, oh, Kirk Cousins, he obviously lost in this draft because Kellamond is going to be the Vikings starting quarterback in 2023 when you have two starting offensive linemen and a vertical wide receiver. What? Mm. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. And, yeah, it, it's like a broken record talking about how the national media jabroni haircuts are just completely out of the loop when it comes to the Viking stuff. But you can be wrong. That's fine. Uh, you can be stupid or a liar. Stupid, I understand. But l just straight up lying? No. No, 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 no. No. Way off. Way off. Uh, beer thoughts. CBS Sports says Kirk Cousins was hurt by the draft. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.